Now I know what you're thinking. The title does say Set Hunter. But there's not a single baseball patch to be shown. Because unbeknownst to all of you guys, the Set Hunter has started to branch out a little bit. The Set Hunter has an insatiable thirst for patches. He just can't get enough of them. And some might even call it an addiction. So, behold. Welcome to Project X. The secret sets the set hunter has been working on. You guys all knew about this one. It was mentioned in an earlier video talking about my disgust with Panini and how they love to short print their stuff to make it nearly impossible to complete sets. However, it has come to my attention that there's nothing you can do about Panini short printing the hell out of everything and you just have to deal with it. You have no choice. Kudos to you Panini for uh, making a brilliant marketing strategy by short printing everything. The more short printed cards you have, I'm assuming means the more boxes you're going to sell. So, way to go. But, I've got a couple couple of them in since last time I showed these off. The Palomalu's new, that's number 10. This is the 2012 uh, totally certified Platinum Gold patches, number 2, anywhere from 49 to uh, 1. So, one that, that London Fletcher, that one's number 10. But it first started out when the set hunter visited a card show and was looking in a box of just random hits, one of their cheap, one, one of the uh, tables, like, you know, five dollar boxes, all cards five bucks. And he pulled this one out. The Frank Gore out, 2010 Panini Plates and Patches Team Supreme. Most of them numbered out of 50. And the set hunter just fell in love with the patch. And the rest, well, is history. There, this is a 50 card set. The, the uh, shortest printed card in the set is the Heath Miller uh, for the Steelers. And that is number two. So... Who knows if we'll ever complete, who knows if I'll complete any of these sets, but why not have some fun trying? So, I'm not going to name out all the players, just enjoy. It's hard to tell, but that Felix Jones is covered in mud or some something like that. I don't know. And some of these will obviously need to be upgraded later down the road. Didn't know if I'd ever see that Calvin Johnson because it got lost in the mail. It took like three weeks to get here. Dustin Keller, for some reason, is numbered out of 17. And that is what I have so far for that set. I'm expecting, I think, one or two. Yeah, I got two of them on the way. Then, it just keeps going. 2011, not so much the uh, who is in the set per se is why I choose sets. I choose them based on what the card looks like. I can give two shits about who is in the set, 
But if the card looks gorgeous, then I like it. And the 2011 Donruss Elite Legends of the Fall cards, I think, are stunning. With that magnificent sunset going on in the background, I think that's great. But here's some of these guys. I've got a couple of these on the way as well. And I'm really, on this one, I'm really trying to focus, if it's not at least two colors, don't really go balls out on it. The, the exception being, you know, Reggie Wayne, it's, you, you re, white and blue, it's pretty much all you're going to get. But secure the card first, upgrade later. So, and the majority of these are numbered out of 50. And I did my research, and there's not a lot of short prints in there. So this one is manageable. And you've seen all that one. But I guess you could say the Achilles heel of the set hunter is patches. But the one that really drives him out of his mind is jumbo patches. And I have never seen a Panini set as sporadically short printed as absolute tool of tools of the trade. A lot of these are numbered out of 50, but it's so sporadic. There's cards numbered out of two, there's cards numbered out of like seven, five, 13, and it just keeps going up all the way up to 50. So here's the Reggie Bush. Terrell Davis is numbered out of 30. What up Bronco 79? I'm sure you already have this though. This Jeremy Macklin is numbered to two. Gorgeous Frank Gore patch. And it seems like Frank Gore is the one that starts off the set because this was the first one I got out of this one. And Todd Heap. I'm expecting, I think, four of these that are on the way. Four of these guys. And then over here we've got some uh, just... I'm still debating on these. This John Elway out of 09 Icons, uh, Seven sent me in a care package once. I just love the look of it. And then the 09 Elite Zoning Commission. I think that's a good looking design. Working on that one. I picked this one up for 99 cents. I'm trying to decide it because the majority of these green longevities out of 2011 the Rookies and Stars is numbered to 99. It's doable, but it is a massive set. It's like this. It's it's like the baseball patch set. There are a ton of them. I pulled this one in a group break. The 2011 limited banner season patches. They're numbered out of 50. And then one of my favorite products, 2010 Epics. Just a blank white patch of D'Angelo Williams, but this is the black variation. They're numbered out of 20, actually 50, I think. If, if, yeah, 50. Okay. So that's what I've got going on here. Multiple projects at the same time. It's risky. It's dangerous. It could get you hurt. But without any baseball patches popping up, it's it's starting to get annoying. I need, I need to do something. So there they are. A set hunter video without a single baseball patch. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Wish me luck. Take it easy.